Okay, so I came across this problem, and I think maybe some other people have it too. So I have these videos that are in my iPhone, and um, I had connected it, of course, to my computer right here. So we're connected in. That's how you set it up. And then I went into uh, image capture, I went into iPhoto, and I went into Final Cut Pro. And I could not, it couldn't see the, these older videos. So for some reason, maybe I had already uploaded them, and, um, and it was recognizing them as being uploaded. I'm not sure. But um, I found a workaround. And what you have to do is uh, go into iCloud. And that's what we're going to show you in a second. Okay, so I've got the uh, iPhone connected, as you've seen. So I'm going to go to Image Capture first. So I click Image Capture. It brings up everything in here. But I go back, and I can't find those videos. As a matter of fact, I can't find any videos in here. I don't think it's, it's, it's brought in any of them. So <clears throat> that's not going to work, right? It's interesting because all these, I'm going to go ahead and import those into my Tom Lehman photo album one. 1919. And next what we're going to do is we're going to open up iPhoto and try to load these things. Okay, so it opens up and it shows me all the images that have not been imported. And then if you look at that top row, those are images that have been imported. But when I open it up and I look for those videos or those images, they're not there. For some reason, I cannot find them in iPhoto. So then I went into, you see I'm trying to what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do time lapse of this uh, agave foxtail plant that grew. So so I go in and I've got my event made and I go in and I go into import media and I click on import and I go to Tom's phone and all it gives me is just these couple of, uh, of videos it, and no matter what I do I can't find that. So I, I needed those two videos to complete my um, time lapse of this because it's of the very beginning before this flower bloomed. As you can see right here, it's growing and I needed this the early time lapse. So what I did was I went in, clicked on Safari, went to iCloud, went to my photos. I'm not, not going to bore you with the all right, we're giving it a shot. Oh, there we go. Now, what I've done is I've kept all my photos in here. So if I go back, and I think it was December 18th, bam, there they are. So I've got this one that I want. Or no, not that. We're going to go back farther. Early videos. Okay, it's right after the moon. All right, so here they are. So I can click on this one, and then I can come over here if I put my finger on command and then click on that it highlights both of them then I gotta go up here and download them and those two videos are gonna download they're gonna pop up too by the way as they load the next one will pop up too so here it comes bam All right now I've got them in here I'm gonna go to my downloads and I'm gonna just gonna drag them to my desktop that's it that's how you get videos or photos that are gone, by downloading everything into your iCloud. I pay a couple extra bucks a month, I think two or three bucks a month, so I've got more storage. So everything I ever take a picture of is in here. Everything, which is great because sometimes I just delete stuff off of the other, other systems, and then I'm like, shoot, I wish I hadn't done that. And I can always come back to iCloud and get it. Oh, then you got to drag and drop them into here. So then I would take these two, highlight them, drag and drop them in there. Bam, done. Now I've got them in there. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my other videos. 
on Apple, Mac, iPhone, Final Cut Pro, and YouTube. I've got a bunch of tutorials. Thanks.